just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat ass. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And if you haven't yet, follow my Instagram so just in case you missed the post notification on YouTube, you get it on the gram. Okay, so we got a little bit more information on the Pop Smoke situation where they said he allegedly stole a Rolls Royce from California and brought it back to New York. You feel me? So I'm gonna read off what they said. Pop Smoke's mother puts up her house to bond him out of jail. He's also facing 10 years in federal charges. That shit kind of bust my head when I heard federal. I'm like, federal charges for GTA? You feel me? Then I'm like, oh, he crossed state lines or whatever with it. I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, yo, no, it's because of the car, the worth of the car and all that, but I, I, I doubt that's what it is. A GTA is just a GTA. You stole a car, you stole a car. You feel me? No matter what type of car it is, you stole a car. Anyway, schedule for February 3rd. Pop Smoke is also suspect, sus <laughs> suspected of being a, a member of the A Deuce Trey G Stone Crips. And the government has re requested he makes no contact with any other gang members or any known gang members. Well, see, so that's like a little technicality in the wordplay right there. The government has requested he makes no contact with any known gang members. Hmm. So if they not known, then he could he could be a con he could be in contact with them. His bond was set at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Smoke's mother is putting up her house in order to secure her son's release. Okay. So, you know what mom's doing. Mom gonna always hold you down, no matter what, you feel me? I know a lot of people gonna say, oh, he, he, um, he don't have a lot of money. He's not lit like that. How he don't got $250,000 to bail himself out? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. At the end of the day, you gotta understand, you feel me? It's, it's a lot of technicalities when it come to this bailing out shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you're not bailing out straight cash, you need proof of all type of shit. I know he's a rapper or whatever, but that's a whole lot of paperwork to do. You feel me? Show how he made this amount of money in this period of time woo, 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 and shit like that. You feel me? But if his mom already have a house, it's not going to be so much hassle for all that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like, Pop Smoke is pleading not guilty. A legend he was using it for a music video. The Rolls Royce was reported stolen after it wasn't returned. Pop Smoke is out on a quarter million bond after his mom putting up her house as collateral for his bond. Okay, now, like, from my perspective of this whole situation, I, I feel like this case is, like, really beatable. All he gotta do is invest a little... 20k into a lawyer and they ain't even gonna cost no crazy money because once the owner of the car already admits to saying all right we had a deal we had a verbal deal saying that i'm gonna allow him to use my car so that he can give me special treatment as in backstage passes and all that at his at his um next show once you admit to that already you you telling them all right he didn't steal my car i gave it to him to use it in order to use it in his music videos or whatever you feel me so off the rip you just rep or like when the lawyer when you in court the lawyer cross examining them or whatever they're gonna be like all right did you or did you not allow pop smoke to use the car he's gonna be like yes i let him use it but only for music videos or whatever so the lawyer now could ask him like yo, all right so you say you used you gave it to him for music videos you didn't tell him he couldn't go to another state with it you didn't tell him his boundaries with the car you just told him use it for music videos so he could have been right or wrong taking the car to new york because that's where he's from to shoot a music video and you as the owner of the car felt like he took too long to bring the car back and you started worrying so you reported the car stolen right or wrong once he say yes that case is gone man that case is gone once he say yes that's what happened that case is gone more than likely though the police is going to try to coerce him into saying otherwise they're going to try to make him say oh no that's not what happened they're going to try to make him lie because you know every time somebody makes it with this music shit especially from new york 
Brooklyn to be exact, you make it anywhere. For some reason, the police decides they want to do investigations on you all of a sudden. Like, oh, let me watch him. That's why when y'all niggas make it, y'all got to get away from here and don't come back, bro. Don't come back. Go miss it for a long ass time. When you come back now, if you come back to do a show, what they going to say? You don't be out here for them to put you in conspiracy and all that extra shit. You feel me? But anyway, we know what's going on. With the, with the police and all that shit. They just, I mean, son made it and they want to get another one. They got Bobby, they got, well, nobody really care about Takashi, but they got Takashi. Now they got Pop Smoke. They had several other niggas before that. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm sure they're going to have several niggas after that. So at the end of the day, you feel me? Niggas just got to be small now. You get that bag and get away from it. You feel me? Go, nigga, try to do something else with the bag too. Don't just stick the rap. I do some other shit with that bag too, you feel what I'm saying? But in this situation right here, I feel like it's a beatable case. Now I mean, I don't I don't feel like it's it's gonna be too hard to beat if he gets a good lawyer. You feel me? Because from the papers that I've been reading, it's it's saying that dude actually let him use the car. So it's like, you know what I mean? You can't say yo, you let him use the car and then he stole it. How did he steal it if you let him use it? He just didn't return it yet. That's what happened. He didn't return it yet. He didn't steal it. Because it's your car. He knows that it's your car. You feel me? Your car has a VIN number and all that shit. He knows that. You feel me? But then again, I heard something when somebody said the plates was changed. I don't know how true that is, but I heard some shit like that. It, it had a different plate on the car when the car was... When they got the car whatever. I don't know. That could have been for music video purposes also. Because... Everybody doesn't want to sit and blur out license plates, you feel me? So it could have been, you know what I mean? They put another plate on their car that didn't match the car. So that way they didn't have to blur the plates. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, you feel me? I might just be thinking too much. But, you know what I mean? For, for court purposes, there's a lot of ways around this shit. And I feel like if he invests in a good lawyer, this case is beatable. You feel me? Obviously, the charges are going to get dropped to lesser charges after certain evidence is brought into court or whatever. You feel me? And for you dick riders that like to comment, yo, you a cop. You can't, you can't call me a cop for reporting something that's already out there. You didn't know about it, and I made you aware of it. So how you calling me a cop? Because I made you aware of something that's already out there, bro. Hey, come on, y'all niggas gotta get it together, man. Dick riding is never the way to travel. But leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if y'all agree with what I'm saying. Y'all think it's facts, it's beatable, which I think is gonna be the outcome of the case. Comment and let me know what y'all think. You feel me? Whoever got the best comment, I'll pin the comment to the top. You feel me? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy, Upper Class.